is an unusual pizza. It's going to be made in the frying pan and then under the grill. And instead of a bread dough, it's got a scone dough. And this scone dough here is made with four ounces of plain flour and a teaspoonful of baking powder. And I'm just going to roll it out to a nice round shape to fit the frying pan. The other thing it's got in it is half a teaspoon of oregano. I expect you can see the black speckles. That's the oregano. And then it was mixed with three tablespoons of water and one tablespoon of olive oil. When I made the dough up, I just gave it a tiny little bit of kneading before rolling it out. And you can see the dough begins to spring back. Just give it one more turn, and then I think it's just about ready for the frying pan. Don't worry if you don't have a perfect round. I, I haven't got a perfect round here. Now, the heat under the frying pan should be very hot, and you should have in the frying pan a depth of about a quarter of an inch of oil. That seems quite a lot, but you'll see we are actually going to need it to cook the pizza. So we'll pop the dough in. Just carefully pop it in like that. And you'll see it begin to bubble, the oil, and the pizza dough will suddenly begin to rise up. It's quite, quite a lovely thing to look at, really. Of course, the pizza topping can be absolutely anything at all. You can be your most inventive. I'm using the classic topping of cheese and tomatoes and anchovies. But before I put them on, I'm just going to have a little peep now and see how it's doing underneath. Yes, that's lovely and crisp and brown. Now the underneath side is going to cook. And it's fairly hot there now, so I've just turned the heat down and I'll explain the ingredients. The first ingredient is tomatoes, and you can use four sliced tomatoes if they're small or two large ones. I've got slightly larger ones here, so I've only got two. And just arrange those over the surface. And then the next ingredient, a very Italian one, that's mozzarella cheese, which has a lovely melting quality. That goes on next. Any little bits that go off around the edge, you can put back on again. And then the next ingredient is anchovies, and I'm going to put the anchovies on in a crisscross pattern in the traditional pizza way, making a little pattern on the top. What I've got here is six anchovies, and they've been split in half lengthways. And now six olives. They can just be popped in anywhere. And then I've got two teaspoons of capers here. Beginning to look nice colour now. Just lost a little caper there. Get that one back. Now some freshly milled pepper. And half a teaspoonful of basil, dried basil, or you could use oregano, sprinkled over the top. And then just before it goes under the grill, you need to have a little drizzle of olive oil just over the surface. And now straight under a hot grill. That'll take about five minutes and then it'll be ready. And five minutes later, supper will be ready. So we take it out from the grill, have a hot plate ready, and you'll find it'll come out of the frying pan very easily. Just use a pan slice and a fork to ease it out. And I think, as you've gone to the trouble to make yourself a pizza, you deserve a glass of something Italian to go with it. And that's frying pan pizza.